I'm just gonna tell it how it is. I'm just gonna fucking tell it how it is, man. I'm not gonna sugarcoat this. I already tried recording this. Um, you can see here this web 20, this web uh, recording 19. Um, 19, I did that on a different uh, recorder, and uh, it would only record the audio for the left side for some weird reason. And then 20, as you can see, is zero bytes. I don't know how the fuck that's possible. That was the second half of it. And after that, I was just like, okay, I'm sick and tired of this shit. Because it doesn't even record the audio from my um, my system properly. So I just deleted it. I held on to those just in case I might want to use them or something. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to break down what gang stalking is. I'm sure you guys really want to know what it is, um, where it originated, why you're targeted who's doing it and why, but you're going to have to fucking really just like open your fucking mind and hear this, bro. I'm going to tell you straight fucking up. You're dealing with the lizard seed out of the fucking Bible, the serpent seed, the cold blooded, low energy pieces of shit. We already know, like if you look at where pretty much all these problems started, AKA, the bitch of England. Why would they be so pressed over a queen? Why is she like the shit? Where's the king of England? Why are they putting this female above everything? In lizard, um, in lizard uh, populations, there are no males. They're all female. I'm going to have to uh, just kind of pop at someone real quick. And you look at these people over there, you know, they're not exactly masculine. They look more hermaphrodite. And that's got to do with the mark of Cain. Eve fucked the serpent. If she wasn't the serpent, her fucking self, aka Lilith, or some kind of shapeshifter. Um, we already know. Uh, based on what you know, if you know anything about dinosaurs, they shapeshift. Like they grow horns. They they get rid of their horns. Like they have all these different phases, um, and forms. If you know anything about dinosaurs, like those are not different dinosaurs. There's really only like seven different types of dinosaurs or some shit like that or nine. I don't remember. Check it out, man. You're going to be mind blown. Um, the things could shape shift apparently or their bodies would morph really um, like big time. Um, and then they even talk about how uh, an ancient, you know, like, uh, you know, like ancient mysticism or whatever the hell you want to call it or like uh, records in like Africa and other places that these, these creatures would actually grow like a, um, instead of a beard, it'd be like, it'd be like a beard, but it was uh, made out of, it was like a horn and it would twist around kind of like the devil. Like you ever seen the horns of the devil, how they twist around like the red devil, like in that one movie, um, I forget the name of the movie. It was an old movie back when I was born, like in the eighties or nineties or something like that. This guy had to fight this massive red demon and they had this horn, the horns all coming out of each side, and they would tw twist around each other, like uh, almost like someone was like braiding their their hair. And this is where they probably even get dreadlocks from. That's why they call them dreadlocks. So I'm not gonna lie, most of it started in Africa. Like I told you, Cain, you already know he's African. And then, uh, you know, they fucked other stuff apparently. If this is really like what it's all about, maybe it's just shape shifting and the different stuff. But I'm pretty sure they're fucking stuff. It seems to be genetic. Um, uh, it's just really fucking crazy. And that's why we got monkey people. Um, like a lot of these people in Asia got a lot of monkey features, but they all still have lizard features. Both of them are kind of similar. The white man, for example, he got some of the rhesus monkey blood features where you can see right through his skin on his face and he can't. That's really. Well, not all white people are like that, but, you know, like certain ones, like they call them rednecks or whatever, or Esau, and then they got the hair where they're not supposed to, not on the face, but on the body. Um, but So that's just one of them. And then there's the lizard people as well. We already know. But we got all these kind of animals. That's why it's called the Mark of the Beast. And we got these magical beasts and stuff like elves and fairies and fawns. That's why there's the half goat, half man in the Bible that's called the satyr, who's all throughout Greek and all that kind of bullshit. Mytholo not mythology, but records like they got carvings of little fuckers and you know they were on this uh this other shit that's a whole nother story but that's why um a lot of the stuff you see in the movies as far as these things being able to manipulate the environment around them 
like witches and all that kind of stuff, you know, manipulate the environment around them. That's exactly what you're seeing in people that are being targeted. They're like, how the fuck did they get in my house? Like, like what the fuck? How did they change this? How did this happen? And you're feeling touches. Like, I mean, they're going to use people when they can so they don't get caught, I guess they could, you could say. But, um, but they'll use spirits as well. Um, you know, these things, there's astro, astro projection. All this kind of shit is real, man. And they don't want you to know about it or be able to do it. And they want to have it all on their side and all that kind of stuff. But that gives you a little idea of what you're dealing with. Um, uh, that's why God said the serpent seed and the seed of man, uh, not the woman. I'm not going to look at it that way because women are pretty much the problem for the most part. That's why God said he found zero out of all women righteous. One out of all men. No, not all, one out of all men. <laughs> but one out of a thousand men righteous. And zero out of all women. And then he said your oppressors are children and their rulers are women. A.K.A. people that are asleep or not developed or like, you know, not even uh, developed. Like, look at the dicks. It's like a dick of a child. And this is a chosen people, like, because they have a higher affinity in according to what these people believe. They believe that the black, which is not true, I don't believe, because they're the ones who basically started this whole thing, unless there were more of them to come, more of them that came. Um based on what they they say that yeah maybe there are more of them or whatever that came and so they're post they're saying that the black uh reptilians are lower in the hierarchy i don't believe that because that's really it all came from and that's why there's a black and white checkerboard and all the people that are brown in the middle they're trying to just genocide and give them islam so they're self-destructive and all this bullshit it was created by the roman catholic church just to have them doing incest which is also the mark of the beast and which is the mark of cain and that's why he was so worried. Everybody would see his energies off and they would be like wanting to kill him because he's a fucking animal. He's a snake. Everybody's going to want to kill him. So his mom and him went off and fucked each other. And if you look at the book, you like, yeah, they went with each other and they started reproducing. And um, that's where all that bullshit started. It's just like something they got going on. That's why they got this fetish for kids and shit. Um, they're just mimicking their parents. Like that's all they can do. They're mimics. They just copy things. They're not original at all. And uh, it's just crazy as fuck. Uh, so much more I could say about it. But basically, they went over there. And then, like I said, the shapeshifters, the star fell from heaven and shapeshifted and then mixed into them. So they might even not even be strictly reptilian. It might just be shapeshifters. And, you know, the rape, reptilians might just be um, clones. We all know that there's this cloning thing going on. And that's why they're so fucking stupid. Um, maybe it's just because they're reptiles or whatever. But I, I have a film they're clones because I had a dream where I had I saw like a whole city of them, like Babylon. That's like Putin said, like there's an old Babylonian thing with this 95 percent of the rulers being um, these reptile things. That's why the, the royals want to be blue. All of them are blue bloods and they want to keep the in the family because their blood is compatible with these, these reptiles and they're reptiles themselves. And they can be possessed by them. And that's why they don't care if they die because they can come back because, you know, spirits continue to exist. And especially these animal ones, I've seen, they seem to inhabit the world and um, not move on because they're of the world, you know. And, you know, so they're always trying to get a new body and all that kind of stuff, especially they want to be in a human body. Because all the highs and all that kind of stuff in it that they don't get to exper uh, experience as a consciousless animal. And this is why this is war against consciousness. They want to knock out your consciousness so they can control you, like I said, through the more gallons and all that stuff. That's why they have targeted um, the religious part of the brain that uh, they call religious fanatical uh, people only have. But it's really the frontal lobe where the bindi, the Hindus put their bindi because that's where your consciousness is, your intention. They're trying to destroy your intention so you're just a robot. You're a lobotron like, that they can control through the uh, impulses hitting your your nervous system, your brain's just reacting um, without any kind of thought. That's what they're trying to do, and they're trying to turn you on, and that so they can turn you on the golems and all that kind of stuff. Um, that's why they vaccinate people, which also affects all uh, the connections, slowing it down. Just like liquor slows it down, and makes it harder to connect, and then they try and possess them people and stuff like that. So it's basically a lot going on. That's why it's kind of confusing. You have a lot of threats coming at you. They're coming at you in several different ways. Um, 
you know, like I said, you got these clones that I believe, like I said, all the clones that they've ever made are female. Um, it's that one, one male, but I don't believe more than that. And like I said, that dream with the female reptiles that were coming out of that city. That's why God said, don't live in the city. That's why these people in the city is so fucking uh, heartless. Uh, you expect that you'd be able to get more help in the city, but you actually get less help because you're like very replaceable in the city. And that's what the social cleansing is about. They try and lower whatever their target is, which is basically the humans, the people with melanin and um, people that are more likely to be, you know, like not one of them. Um, people that are warm blooded, basically, because they have more energy. Uh, like the Goldilocks zone. Not too hot, not too cold, not too white, not too black. You know what I mean? Um, they're right in the middle. They're in the Goldilocks zone. The brown pores, the brown bears. You found Sasquatch people in the woods, like the witches in the woods. You came to their house. And, um, <clears throat> and then basically this is why women have become like a negative to us. Like, And they're using women to uh, exploit energy out of men. Um, women are like the negative side of the fucking batter. The men are the positive side. They have more energy. Their body temperature is higher. Their women's uh, body temperature is lower on average. As you age, your body temperature lowers because you're losing uh, energy potential. Um, this is why someone could be like really aged and then take alkalizing things, which are just hydrogen um, energy uh, things. That's what the sun is. It's a big old hydrogen ball. It's lighter than helium, which is lighter than air. And what does it do? It puts off heat, but it's so light that it's pulled by mag, uh, mag, uh, not magnetism, but gravity, which is just mass. That's why it goes to the North Pole when there's a lot of ice and mass there. And then it goes down to the South Pole when there's a lot of ice and mass there. And it kind of just melts it off and it keeps everything in perfect alignment. The, um, the pyramids and most of the mass of the planet is towards the center of that pie. If you know about flat earth. So that's why the sun mostly just goes around over and over again. It's just kind of falling that. But they've been fucking with that. So that's why we're having all these issues around the Pacific Rim, which is where they moved most of the gold. Um, like to Hawaii, for example, right in the middle of the Pacific Rim. There's more gold there. There's so much gold there you could be richer than uh, the $500 trillion rich uh, Rothschilds and all that kind of stuff if you sold it. And there's all these rare minerals and stuff there. And that's why uh, Kali's burning right now because the volcanoes are being affected by the energy and it's making them get more active. And it's rising surface temperatures are causing the fires to exp uh, get worse. And these lizards, they don't like that or whatever. You know, they're still being dumb and staying there, you know. And uh, trying to, um, the Chinese are obviously trying to do a land grab as well because they want all these high energy areas for themselves. You see, they can't really inhabit the colder areas. And you're going to find a trend. Not surprisingly, because these lizard people are what's going on of um, that 75% of the people on the planet are lactose intolerant. 75% of them. Most people don't know, but lizards can't eat um, lactose. They never get nurtured by their mother because they're cold blooded pieces of shit. They never get nurtured. So um, they're totally lactose intolerant. Totally. And. You'll get like maybe like, uh, like I said, 75% of them are like that, but it's disproportionately um, uh, balanced. Like most of them are in all these warm areas like Africa, everywhere that the social cleansing is going on. That's where uh, a lot of lactose intolerance is at. And that's where these reptiles are at. It's really obvious, man. If you, you have a mind that really knows how to, you know, understand things. There's a lot more to it, but... Um, I'm going to get going with this now real quick because that's not really the point of this video. I'm trying to make you understand why they're targeting us and why they're so cold-blooded and um, why there's this cloning thing and um, why this basically kind of soulless, why they, uh, they had no originality to them. Like all these things, you know, these NPC problems, why they're a part of the matrix, why they're a part of the control system. Um, because the control system is the mark of the beast. It's the matrix. Like that's why everybody that does DMT, and LSD, which like, like I'm pretty sure I said it, but I can't tell because I made two videos of this already, that um, LSD and all these things are really just stimulants. And if it was too stimulating, it would make you start seeing things that they don't want you to see. Like the lizard woman. It's always the lizard woman. It's never a lizard man. Why is that? 
because like you already know it goes back to the garden i'm pretty sure she is the fucking problem and this is affecting us holographically through time that could be her all like for all we know or little for or maybe every male has this, this woman with them and now that i think about it, i hardly i don't even think i've ever heard of any real female um dmt or lsd experiences like that i think i have but they're very rare i want to see if they run into the lizard woman as well but it's always a lizard woman it shows you their nature it's a feminine thing and um if you look at women like they're very like that like the skin is kind of like a little smoother like a serpent and all that kind of stuff and um i think the tails are their butts but uh others plan <laughs> um well this is real like this is why um she sold us out like that that's why they always go for bad guys and all that kind of stuff but i'm not gonna sit here and bash too much but you're starting to see you'll probably start to understand where i'm coming from a little later now, let me get to this uh so they're gentrifying they're trying to eliminate people that's why they um they colonized all these uh these these countries where the uh, the normal people were at like you know like the melanated people were at like they basically just conquered like all those type of places destroyed their history they're right now they're attacking the, uh, the middle east and the main thing they're doing is destroying old uh, relics and stuff like that and uh, confiscating stuff uh, so they can hide history and rewrite it in their own history like they've been doing and fooling people and uh, the only reason they've been so effective is because most of the population they've been replacing them with these creatures and a lot of the population probably already was them i'm pretty sure like i said they're using this technology just to exploit that nano the animal nature of them but i want to be surprised like i said they're cloning a lot of people i mean a lot of people there's a lot of hints to that in what i've been seeing that that's what's going to be going on for example this whole social cleansing thing is a german thing as well they're not going to put it on here but it's a german thing as well let me show you this is a guy that just got fucking killed like literally like right after he put his fucking name out there he got killed like he literally did he didn't just get killed it's happened a year, couple of years ago obviously but like as soon as he put his name out there they killed him within like four days or a week or some shit like that if you look at his interview right here you'll see that and you see the german stasi state police you see that's actually what this video is mostly about it's to show that not only all authorities you know like just like Paul said, all authorities of God, it's the opposite. They're all of the devil for the most part. Um, God gave you freedom. You know what I mean? He ain't, he ain't no fucking, like, do this unless it's for your health type of thing. You know what I mean? He ain't trying to, like, cause you no problems like these motherfuckers are. Um, and then even then, he just lets you do what, basically do what you do. Um, these guys want to take all that away. They want to take away your free will, your life, everything, which is the same thing. You're not going to have free will without health, without energy. Um, so basically, they uh, the Germans did the same thing. I'm sure this is how they target and dehumanize the Jews. They, um, who basically, they probably were right about. I mean, look at what's going on right now with these fake ass Jews right now. And, um, and they call themselves lizard people. I mean, bro, I know the Nazis is on to something, bro. For all I know maybe they were, but I'm pretty sure they weren't. And this is all there's something greater going on with that. But um, it could have just been infighting. They fight all the time with each other. But um, like the the thirteen families, they fight with each other all the time. But anyways, this German thing it's got to do with the beast that was, but what is isn't. Rome also has to do with the beast that is, but isn't. Um. Yeah, it's both. Like they're both basically the same thing, I'd imagine, in some way or another. It's either one or the other. I mean, they're both basically hand in hand. Because not only does this happen in Germany, but the Pope that blessed Germany is totally with this shit. Like, because you know, this is a Roman thing. Look, a Spanish thing. It's a Spanish Roman thing. Don't let them fool you when they call it Latin. That's Roman. They ain't got nothing to do with these people's countries that are south of here. All those people that were south of here got killed and got whitewashed. And in Brazil, they um the slaves they brought there, they didn't whitewash them mostly. Most of them ended up, you know, they just kept being what they were for some reason. Here in America, they they chose to whitewash and blackwash them. Um 
basically they they took the hebrews the brown people or the lighter brown people and they they fucked their women took their women just like they do today through uh now brainwashing and conditioning because the women have been conditioned to not like their own men to like something else either black or white on the white or black checkerboard um because those are the aliens basically for the most part <laughs> i mean that's all i'm gonna say about it that's why in the uh, prometheus movie they got this uh what is it the pale alien that gives birth to the uh to the black the pitch black alien with the acidic shit and the double road mouth and all those uh nephilim traits and shit it's a lot more to it or whatever but um uh, they're totally involved in trying to destroy the brown man you know uh, basically Abel. They're trying to get rid of Abel. Abel's already dead. We already know that. But Seth. They're trying to get rid of Seth now. Who led to, um, you know, Shem. And really, from what I could tell, pretty much uh, everybody. No, nah, no, nah, not everybody. No, nah, not everybody. It was, it was, uh, there was several different people that, um, well, there was the three different type of people. You know, the, the Ham, which is a Canaanite. And then um, the Japheth type, the paler one, I don't know if he's a, he's just an albino or if he's his own thing. But uh, either way, um, they, they got this thing against Seth, um, who's obviously the brown people for the most part, I would imagine. Otherwise, where the fuck did they come from? Unless maybe it's a mix or something. But um, <clears throat> basically, they're trying to eliminate him. Look at what's going on in the Middle East. Like I said, they're trying to wipe him out there and then here. Like I said, they shoot people like Mike Brown and all these other guys. And like I said, they call. I told my dad at least the other guys comfortably black. I'm gonna keep telling you that, man, until you get it, bro. But anyways, like I said, they um and then and then on the other end of the things, you know, they got absorbed by the uh by the black people, or whatever. And basically, all the brown guys they died childless. Um, all that most of the Hebrews died off because of that. And the 400 year curse actually had to do with um Brazil. That's where the slavery began and ended there last. After people had freedom in America, they still had slavery there. They had actually 50% of the slaves that came from all over from, um, and they brought them to Brazil. 50% of them were in Brazil. That's why you got the largest population of Hebrews and Africans on this, on this continent. It's in Brazil. And, um, you know, you're going to have some serpent people along with that as well. Um, and then, you know, I'm sure as these two were around each other, you know, these serpent people started to grow a very high level of hatred for these, uh, these Hebrew people and started this whole fucking, let's attack any of the original people, I, um, i.e. maybe even Cain might be, I guess, somehow acceptable until the aliens mixed into them, or, um, which will explain a lot why they want to kill them too. And why, for example, in Africa, you have all these uh, divisions between them, but that could just be the snakes fight with each other like they always do. Um, just competing over stuff. Because that's all they know how to do. They know, all they know how to do is kill, steal, and destroy to get what they know, to get what they want. They're not like us. They're not, uh, they don't have no super consciousness. They don't have any morality. They're not going to reason with you. They're just going to take it. And that's why you guys got to understand this. This is why I'm trying to get you to understand what you're dealing with. You're not dealing with people. You're dealing with all kinds of fucked up shit, man. You're dealing with spirits. You're dealing with fucking possessed people. You're dealing with fucking clones. You're dealing with all that shit, man. And neither one of these motherfucking creatures is going to give a fuck about you when they cut your throat. They're going to be happy and they're going to drink your blood. Because that's what they do. That's why God said don't drink blood. Because that's an animal thing. It's a beast thing. If you're going to bring that side out of you, because most people have been tainted with this shit. <clears throat> um, it's just so obvious. I mean, I'm sorry. I was, let me continue. So they're basically trying to genocide us, and you're gonna see this. You're gonna see a lot of this now. I'm about to blow this, blow your mind. But oh yeah, the Spanish crap, um, this Roman thing. Like, like I said, Paul acted like all authorities are guy. Um, you know, they, they even rewrite a lot of the stuff. Uh, told the fooled the people into thinking that um. They were supposed to just not fight back when Jesus, in one of the only true books in the New Testament, the book of John, he was a favorite apostle of Jesus, says that, um, what was it, uh, 
If this is my people, they would have fought for me. But this isn't my world. From you know, this isn't my world. <laughs> people didn't get that part. Um, and the other part where he, I'm not sure which book it was, but he was like, "Don't cry for me, cry for y'all, because y'all about to get fed the lions of tiger." He didn't say y'all about to get fed the lions of tiger, but that's what he meant, because that's exactly what happened, because they deserved their their God. And it was basically the end of the world after that. Um, yeah, it really was. And uh, that's why it was over for them after that. Like, and they've been in subjectivity after all ever since. And I remember having this other dream that didn't make sense to me. I saw that we were like in this uh, like coliseum type thing, and we were kind of captive. And um, they had these big giant reptiles there. I mean, big, big ones. They were there, and they were like a part of the problem, basically. And uh, and so yeah, that makes a lot more sense now. And yeah, they were they were mighty. I'll say that they were mighty, and in the world of pussies, I can understand how they uh, they're afraid of that. But um, to me, they're just big targets, and I know reptiles they don't heal very fast, especially in cold weather. <laughs> Literally can't heal at all in cold weather. You just put one hole in them, they're done. But um, they're just cracked as shit, like they're done. Like I, like a couple of reptile people, like like I was telling you, like I don't even think I brought it up like one of them, like I said that I know, like. They got the real bassy voice and they can't hear except for when they're they can't hear themselves that's why they talk really loud and bassy just like a snake can't hear anything unless it's really bassy and um this person these, both of these people i got in the fights with and um and you know i ended up injuring them because they're stupid and they kept charging me out of pride and um like i'd only hit them once at a time and be like get the fuck away from me and they both ended up with internal bleeding and um it's because they they probably actually have a shell instead of a regular body and i remember their bodies just seemed kind of hard i was just i was their bones or whatever but they've been take they both took extremely long to heal i mean extremely long well uh, that's, a, that's a whole nother story i'm not even gonna get in that these people are real but they uh oh yeah so like the spanish in this uh it's the same people that are like kissing the ass of the Pope and all this. They uh they came and conquered the um whitewash, blackwash. All right, I pretty much explained that. And this is why a lot of melanated uh Latins like me, I'm a melanated Latin, they we don't fit in with the other Latins. They don't they don't respect us because these are lizard people. This is why I'm about to show you what how they feel about melanated Latins. I'm about to show you how they feel about who they think should be gentrified. This is why in the I think I already said this. Like I said, I've already done this video twice already, so it's hard for me. And they did that on purpose so this would, had this issue. Um, the last thing they want to have wake up is the animal people, because that's a sleeping giant that you know it's gonna be could be a problem, but I don't think it'll ever happen. And this is why they don't even mind putting it right in front of our faces. It's really just to taunt the few of us that are not one of them. This is why it doesn't matter what you tell them; they don't care. It doesn't matter what you do, they don't care. It doesn't matter what kind of situation you're in, they don't care. This is why we live in a planet where the poor and needy are attacked. Why the poor and needy are purposely created. Why, you know, water is not like an abundant thing when we're surrounded by water. Like, this is ridiculous. Like, all these kind of things, like why energy is not, uh, you know, where it should be when we already know we got free energy with water and all that kind of shit so on and so forth all these unrealistic bullshit things are because they are targeting us they are trying to eliminate us that's why a lot of these people are very happy with this because it's not happening to them if you pay attention to these people that don't give a fuck about it is it happening to them are they the ones being having this harassment done to them are they the ones having their lives uh set up no <laughs> it's very simple once you get the simple process the simple concept that they're out to fucking get us everybody that does these drugs sees basically everybody around them a lot of times including themselves because most people are this you could be a you know you, you don't gotta be a fucking blood eating reptile you could be a uh, herbivore you know what i mean and they don't like herbivores they want you to be the blood eating type i'll put it that way you see what i'm saying you could be maybe a peaceful one and they're gonna, your family's gonna come after you because you changed. You know what I mean? They don't want that. They don't want that to happen. Um, because it call it just leaves so many openings for them. Like, just, 
so many threats. Um, uh, but yeah, they're out to get us, man. Um, that's all I'm gonna say about it. So let me let me get on. It's a Spanish word, yeah, just like nigger is a Spanish word, and that's why uh, actually 50 percent, like I said, of the slaves were there, and that's why the people when they ended slavery, the people to the south resisted. And because they looked over the border and they saw all these slaves were there. America only had 5% of the slaves. Only 5%. They give you all a fair deal here. You guys can actually be basketball stars or something here. And you guys actually uplifted this country with your greatness. You guys came with most of their inventions, so on and so forth. Um, but in these other countries south of here, do you hear about anything coming from the melanated people that were there? No. And um, like, for example, in Cuba, I'm, I'm, my grandpa was 100 percent Cuban. He um, when they brought over the, the Cubans, they only allowed the lighter complected ones over first. Why is that, you'd ask? Because of game, just like the first people that came to this country were allowed to do the gold rush and get filthy fucking rich. All the opportunity, all the natural resources. we got whiz all around us. We ain't even using it because they got it sanctioned off in themselves. When they when it's time to use it or whatever the fuck, um, and then they let the brown people or much later once once all the fucking opportunity was taken, all the Cuban restaurants were already open by people that weren't even probably naturally Cuban, but just conquerors, you know what I mean, all that kind of stuff. Um, it's just ridiculous. Like most of the fucking actual native people that are any kind of real native in all these Latin countries. They stayed in their country. If you look at the people in their country that are protesting the American shitty ass government, fucking up their country, taking all their natural resources because those warmer areas always are high energy and they're high energy because they have massive things there. And that somehow like self proliferates into more and more. Um, and it's just the way the cycle of life is on this planet for good reasons. You can tell because um, the sun moves perfectly because of that. And they're fucking that up. By taking all the minerals out of, uh, like for example, Africa, they took all the minerals, all those, all that gold from uh, South Africa. And as they started to do that on the exact same year, you can look it up. What year they started to mine in South Africa, and what year the the the, uh, the pole shift started to speed up, and the pole shift is going directly at fucking South Africa. It's going to end up at England, just because the balance is all fucked up. They don't want you to know that though. They don't say it's going towards South Africa. Say it's going towards England. So you don't connect the dots. They always do that kind of shit. Uh, and they want you to sleep so you don't have dreams like I do, so you can see through their lives without having any outside information. It's all within. Or like, you know, you know, some kind of spiritual thing, you know, where you're getting a connection through um spiritual connections or whatever the fuck. It works, though. It definitely works. And this is how people have been able to do all kinds of, like, seeing through their bullshit. Like, since the prophets of old. Um, all right, so what else can I say? I mean, like I said, that's where the real the ne real, uh, the real uh, natives are. They're still in their country, like, or they're here in this country and they're getting fucked over the natives in this country. And the main reason they killed the natives here is because the natives here were not very controllable. They were not very controllable at all. They, they are very strong in spirit. Um, and they knew all kinds of stuff. They called the white man George when he came here, like George of the Jungle. Yeah, like they um, these guys basically lived in fucking caves and stuff, and that's why they don't have any um, ability to deal with the sun. Like when you live in like a colder area, you're gonna have like a lot of snow, and it tends to be actually much more harder in your eyes. As far as the life in the sun. Only things that live in the caves, like like a lot of snakes live in caves. You didn't know that probably, did you? Because it's not too hot, not too cold. They can come out when they need a little bit of one or the other. For the most part, it's pretty balanced in there. There's actually probably some heat the, the further in there go, so they can find a nice little balance going deeper in there. And um, but they gotta be able to see in the dark. So that's why their eyes have no pigmentation. Um, there's a lot of reasons this could have happened. It could have happened with the Mongol tribes that left Africa, which I think just became the Asians, but a lot of people think the Asians became Caucasians, you know what I mean? <laughs> out of the Caucasus Mountains. 
I mean, there's so much to it. It's like in the Babylonian text that these uh these dog like uh people came out of the, uh, the cave, and you know, like they basically use barbarian tactics, uh, hit and run tactics. We already know who they are. They did the same thing to Rome. Now they probably secretly run Rome from the the uh, the, the back, you know, the background. The Romanians fucking even called themselves the the fucking lizard people. They all look the damn same. I mean, come on, man. But anyway, so let me let me move on. Um, this is basically a takeover, man. Like these guys are not even from Earth. They're from a different fucking part of the heavens, a different location. They um they fell down here and they're trying to take over. That's why it's so systematic, uh, so organized. Why it seems like aliens are doing it because they really are aliens. They've been here for a while though, um, setting up in some seriously fucked up ways and. The most devastating ways you could imagine, because that's the kind of people, uh, individuals they are. And uh, this is just like they, they're trying to finish off the job, basically, before anybody can see what's happening. Because now we have a uh, TV, and that's why they're trying to block all that on the TV about, oh, we killed another black guy. You know, they're trying to hide that kind of shit, not let you know that's really, like, what it's really about. Like, it's just... They're trying to make it seem like it's something that it is not. It's really like a species fucking thing. Like they're gonna, they're really gonna try and kill us. Like this is what it's really about. Like, um, it's really bad. But let me just move on. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about now. Like what this is really about. And anybody that like is against the system, doesn't matter what race they are, um, they're gonna find them as a threat. Or if you're high energy of any race, they're gonna find you as a threat. Um, what else? Uh, you know, if you outspoken, most of these people get on here because they outspoken. Like I got on here probably for a couple of reasons. I'm a, I'm an energy threat, but I think it also, I think it mostly, it's been going on my whole life though. It's been going on my whole life. Um, but I know it intensified once I started to actually talk out about the federal reserve and stuff. And once I met Morpheus and he taught me about all that kind of stuff, the basic bread and butter things. Yeah. I met the real Morpheus. I'm the real Neo. You, don't have to believe me. I really don't care. Um, I kind of have no respect for these people on this planet anymore. So uh, the few that are going to hear this and get it, you know, good for you, man. I respect you. You're fucking amazing. But, um, you know, the rest of y'all, fuck y'all, man. Like, I couldn't care less what happens to y'all. And I'm going to make sure y'all get burnt up. Um, that's the reason God's uh, going to destroy the world with fire this time. Those creatures can't take the heat. That's why um, it says the son of righteousness is going to burn the wicked. But it's going to build up who? The righteous. The people that are one with the light of God. Jesus said become one with his light. With the light of God. Um, how I say? Uh, for example, in the book of Enoch, it says that the sun is the opening in the heaven. What's the light of heaven? That's why they didn't want you to know about the book of Enoch. It exposes them in so many ways. And, um, wow, that's just crazy. But anyways, uh, like, it builds up the the good people because it's energy. The um, the soul the sun was really active, and it still is active. They just um, pretend like it's not active anymore, and um, cover up the uh, the sky and stuff like that, so people can't, you know, um, get as affected by it. And they, you know, they don't want to have the sun up there because they ain't got nothing to do with it. It's the light of heaven. That's why when the uh, Caucasian man or snake man or whatever the hell he is gets into the sun. He had he, his body just boils up like he's a fucking virus being affected by it. But you'll see other white guys that are very strong and athletic and masculine. They get a nice tan instead. They don't get fucking burnt up. Not all the same people. They're not all the same. And they're picking these people out on every race. Like not most races, most people in every race, especially the black and the white ones on the two different ends of the spectrum. They're going to be more like that, more like the reptile. It's us, you know, them. Um, the brown people, you know, they've been fucking mixing with them and stuff. So, you know, it's going to be in them too, to a degree, but not as bad. Like, for example, you see Zion Williams, like I said, with his wobble and stuff. You, you look at an Ethiopian person or a typical brown person. That's why you see them so successful in boxing and martial arts and, uh, and track and field. is because... For example, Hussein Bolt, he's a uh, he's a West Indian. Where'd the Hebrews go? They went to West a lot of them in West India. You know, like they weren't exactly all like light brown. 
Like some of them are darker brown. Um, but like all the rest of them, you can imagine like like Mike Tyson all around that skin tone. Like, um, and those are like, you know, even though they've been like really fucking watered down and like, uh, like as far as like being able to reproduce and like, it's even a miracle that there are any left of that skin tone because it'll paper bag test in this country. But, um, that's why you'll see those guys are really not that, that big of an issue. Like they, they had, they, their bodies are not fucked up. They have, uh, the legs are good for running. They're not fucked up. They can stand upright. Um, they might not have ape strength, but they have momentum and function of the body and everything like works well. That's why they want black people's organs. Uh, you know, that's why they want those so-called black people. We're not black. Uh, but anyway, so that's a lot more to that, but let me move on. Uh, the class-based killing system that consists of eliminating uh, elimination of members of society who are considered undesirable. Of course, you already know why we're undesirable now. You see this shit? Because our energy burns them. Because the energy of God that's growing within us, that's why they're attacking us so much harder lately, as I've been doing Alpine Spirit. Every time I do an Alpine Spirit, like, like they're like, oh, no, their energy's rising. They're going to wake up. Their eyes are going to open. So what they do is they, they usually will kill someone in the black community, specifically. This has been happening so much since 2000, around 2012. Because the energy of God flows to his people and... um. It could be any race, really, if they, you know, if they're in tune or whatever. Um, but it's mostly brown, the brown people they target, and um, you know, they'll just kill one of them and then bring the energy down, try and bring the energy down, and distract from the positive stuff that's going on. They always do that, like or some kind of shooting. They'll even, you know, they'll do it at the white schools and shit. Um, it's just really bad. Like they do it all over the planet, and um, as you can imagine, since most people are animalistic. This, this puts them in control. Like, it puts them under control of fear. And then now they can really get them to vote. Now you understand why they vote like they do. Why they want to take what has given us our freedom this whole time, our guns. People are less animalistic in the past, I believe. I think this is kind of becoming more of a trend because of diet and the way they're poisoning people and lowering their consciousness and bringing that out of people. Um, and genetic um, mutations through the Morgellons and the synthetic biology they're putting on people. And, um, let me see. It's just, it's just really bad, but like now you can, now if you really get that. You'll understand why they do the stupid fucking things they do. Why they're like, take the guns, take the guns. Why you, why people actually voted for Hillary? Like, why is all this shit talk about like, Oh yeah, women can do whatever men can do, and then they they know damn well they can't. And then when a man punches them, they want to throw the man in jail, or they you know because the bitch fucking punched them first, or like you know what I mean they can't never take what they put out. That's the hallmark of all these people on that side of the fence. We all know this. So you see where I'm coming from, but like I said, like they, this is why they get burnt up by the presence of God. Like I said, because they're low energy, and God, as I just told you. The sun is opening in heaven, and the light of heaven is Jesus. So the light of Jesus is going to burn them up, just like it already does. The sun burns them up. That's why they're trying to block the sun. That's why they don't want you to know it's extra bright right now, actually, and that there are extra suns up there and all this kind of stuff, bringing out this energy. Um, that's why they'll hide the existence, all this stuff, like the extra plants, all that. Like, um. Ugh, so much to it, man. Like, but basically, they don't want to deal with the energy. That's why they want you in a negative mindset instead of a positive one. Because this is why God said you can destroy them with your love. Because your love is a higher vibrational thing. They're not in tune with it. It's too high energy for them. It shorts out their circuits. It fucks them up. Um, that's I couldn't make it any more simple for you on that. And that's why we're considered undesirable because they can't take it. But anyway, so including but not limited to the homeless, they make them homeless, by the way. Look at black communities. Look at the opportunity that how they just fuck their, their areas up. Um, and then on top of that, they bring the drugs, all that kind of shit. Um, they frame them. 
They uh they destroyed Black Wall Street because the black people were finally get some fucking riches. They were richer than the white people because the white people were in their own going off in their own goddamn wars. And then they realized, oh man, we could get rich off these black people. So then they started to combine everything. It would have been better off segregated. But um maybe not because they probably would have just bombed them again once they got going again. But um that's the kind of creatures we're dealing with. Very jealous fucking creatures, man. What's jealous? Women. Men are not jealous fucking creatures, bro. Like, don't look. I'm, I'm not talking about pitch black guys. Those are the most jealous motherfuckers you'll ever see. That's why you always see that big beastie black bitch trying to beat up on the pretty bitch. But you ain't going to see that nice ass looking Ethiopian bitch do none of that. They mind their own goddamn business. They get their little bendy and they go to fuck home and they stay the fuck out of people's business for the most part. Obviously, that's not every single one of them. But compared to these other two, it's it's like night and day, boy. Um. But anyways, let me move on. All right, so so they're targeting them, and then they, yeah, you see, they make them homeless. As I just told you, they fuck up every financial option they have. And then in all these Latin countries, they don't fucking let the black people work hardly nowhere. They don't. I mean, the melanin Latins. Um, that's why you're gonna about to see like who in this fucking situation, like living in the sewers right here. I'm gonna see who's living in the fucking sewers. What what do you see on that guy on the left? What's his skin tone? You're gonna see who actually don't live in the sewers in that country. Who yeah, they forced the goddamn people into the fucking sewers, bro. That's how bad it is. They would kill them if they're on the fucking um including children. That's why they got all this shit right here. Because that's what they do. And then this is why a lot of you guys will hear about how they'll label you and how they will um try and make you seem crazy or or like you're a drug dealer, or maybe you're a slut, or maybe you're a criminal. And we already know they make up most, they be, they basically don't let us get work. This is why I said, if you don't get the mark of the beast, that you would not be able to find work, you would not be able to eat or drink, you would not be able to do any of that. You would not be able to buy without their, their name, which is already all over the money. And um, all that kind of shit. So, um... It's just really fucked up, and that's what they do. So I'm gonna continue on. So like they basically label y'all. That's why they do it. They label y'all so they because they know about this social um, cleansing thing. They know about it. They know that the Latins, the ones that are in control, the Romans <clears throat> that are running the system, these lizard people or whatever the fuck, they know they're gonna come after you because you're you're easy prey. They're trying to set you up. And then even when they get you upset, now they can see you. Now the other lizard people can see you. They want you upset and on a lower vibration so that they can fuck with you. Now now that it's like you're bleeding. It's like you're bleeding out. Like really slowly, but they can it, it makes all the fucking reptiles around you like, oh now I can see him. Now I can see him. Like his temperature's rising. He's getting he's getting heated. You know what I mean? Um, it's a waste of your energy, but it allows them to see you better or something. You know what I mean? Because you're more in their vibration. You're more in their lower vibration, and you're harmed. You're like you're bleeding. So like they're they're enticed to come after you. They want to come after you. I noticed this that like after I get attacked by these demons, um, the other demons, you know, like they they kind of like to sense that I was just attacked and I'm not in a good mood. But if, if I, my mood doesn't get as affected, they don't do it as much. But the more my mood is affected, the more they try and jump on the bandwagon and try and push you further. And you know what this really is? This is Sodom and Egypt, where it said the two witnesses would be, where all this would go down. Yeah, I'm the two witnesses, by the way. Um, it says that in Sodom, they would take the poor. Just like here, you see, they target the fucking poor. If you're poor there, they're going to torment you, um, treat you like shit, take everything you do have, even though you're not, you're not, compl if you're not like, you know, got a decent amount of money, like you're not like wealthy or, or rich or, or at least middle class, they don't get, like you could just be like low income, not exactly dead broke. And then they'll try and make you dead broke. That's what they do. They're trying to like eliminate the middle class and the lower class in this country now. 
and make them all like fucking like super poor. And um, it's just ridiculous. Like, uh, like they would literally like put them on fucking things, like according to what I heard, and like stretch their bodies out to torture them. All these fucked up things, like just because they were poor, like they would just treat them like shit. They were all like homosexual, probably because they were reptiles and asexual. And not even really males, like, her, you know, Hermes and weirdos. That's why this is over and over you're going to see this shit, bro. Um, it's ridiculous. But anyway, so now you understand where I'm coming from. Huh, including but not limited to the homeless. They're, they're making these people like this. Um, the criminals probably, sometimes they actually do become criminals because they ain't got no other option. They got to eat somehow, right? They got no other option, so then they end up being criminals. And, or they just label them. And then street children, I mean, obviously that's just poor, homeless, you know. I mean, it's really fucked up. Anybody in a real fucking society, like the Nazarene society, there would be no homeless. That's where you'd be a lot less criminals. If they are a criminal, they're not even going to be allowed in this society. Um, why, why, why torture them? Why throw them in jail? Why do all these things? Just get them the fuck out of your society. Kick them the fuck out of your society. You know what I mean? If they're a real fucking criminal. Like, everybody makes mistakes. And I already know that they actually fix a lot of these problems. Like, the Nazarenes have fixed it. They shared every fucking thing. The more you had, the more you shared. But you wouldn't, like, share so much that you're lacking. Like, you're going to always have everything you need. Um, everything, you know, every, you're not going to lack nothing. You're going to have a car. You're not going to have a fucking Bentley, though. You're going to have a nice car. You know what I mean? They wouldn't have a society where it's like, oh, the car is expensive for no goddamn reason. You know what I mean? The Bentley would be maybe like half, like a hundred fifty or fifty thousand dollars or something instead of a million dollars. You know what I mean? And it'd be realistically based. Like the whole place is so different. Like you gotta check out the Nazarenes. But um, <clears throat> so there really wouldn't be no fucking kids on the damn street that would end up being criminals because they ain't got no other way of living. There wouldn't be no criminals to introduce the kids to becoming criminals. Um. But instead, we got people that ain't got no other way to get by. And then they, on top of that, they're creating criminals through the drugs and the gifts that they, they, they're purposely bringing in here and funding. And the cops are all involved and all that kind of shit. And uh, you already see where I'm going. The corruption and the rewarding of bad actions instead of good. They paid the gang stalkers to do this shit or maybe not even. They're just fucking, you know, just, they're all against us cause simply because we're human. Um, that's why it doesn't matter where you're going, the more gallons is already in them, so they can just make them do what they want. It may not happen the first time you meet them, which I've noticed the first time I meet people, yeah, they can sense something, but then the next time I meet them, they're acting much worse, usually, depending on the person. It's almost like they've been told something, or, you know, the, the machines, like, you know, inside of them changed them. It's like the Agent Smith or a spirit got into them or they're like, oh, this guy's going to interact with them. So they target them or whatever. Or they make up lies about you. It could be any of them. All of them happen. All of the above. All of the above. It's called redundancy. Military, they always have more than one way of doing something and they got more than one copy of it. Well, anyway, so the elderly, yeah, there would be elderly and the um, good thing. And that's nothing wrong with that. You need the fucking elderly around. So that they can't lie about the past. With the elderly around, and especially if they're not fucking seen out from drugs and all that shit that'll cause them to age wrong, they could be a fucking living library. They don't want that to happen, though, because they want to hide the fucking past and change it and make it seem like something totally fucking different, which is what we're seeing happen right fucking now. People are thinking all kinds of crazy shit like they think it's okay to be a fucking girl. They think that it's like that it's okay that a man thinks he's a fucking woman and all this kind of weird shit. I have so many examples of this kind of dumb fucking shit. Ugh. But um, anyways, this double think that these motherfuckers got. That's why they can't, they get cognitive diffs in it so fucking easily, bro. Anyway, so the elderly. Uh, that's why Asia is Asia's so successful, uh, even though they're oppressed like shit. It's because they're healthy. They're el- they're elderly. They're not seen now for the most part. They eat well. That's really it. But um, sex workers, doesn't this remind you of a story in the Bible? What they want to do to, uh, what's her name? Uh, Magdalene, I believe that's her name. 
Wow, I can't even believe I can't remember her name right now. Mary Magdalene, yeah. Um, yeah. What did they want to do to her? What did Jesus say? And uh, sexual minorities. Oh, wow. So the gay people probably wouldn't like that. But now you see why they're trying to make the sex, uh, change that around. You see? Because they know how this works. They know that if they're the minority, they want to seem like they're not the minority. You see that? Now they want to be like, yeah, everybody's gay. Yeah, everybody's turning from man to woman. Everybody's changed from woman to man-ish. <laughs> oh, you know what I mean? Because they don't want to be the minority. Because they know then they're going to be getting social cleansing. So they're, they're really programming this shit, man. But um, this phenomenon is caused by a combination of economic and social factors. But killings are notably present in religions with high levels of poverty and disparities of wealth. AKA, it was created. We already know this how this works in those goddamn countries that are full of this goddamn natural wealth. It gets stolen by other countries and they create these goddamn disparities of wealth at the same time. I've been going on for a while. And um, perpetrators are usually of the same community as the victims. Yep. Anybody know about that in Game of Thrones? Yeah. And they are often motivated by the idea that their victims are a drain on the resources of the society. That's their excuse. They make up goddamn excuses. It's like problem, solution, uh, problem, uh, reaction, solution. You see what I mean? Problem, reaction, solution. It's all conditioned. When you got animal fucking people, that works very easily. Very fucking easily. You can repeat it over and over and get the same fucking result. But with people, with conscious people, they will they might see through your mix-up. Well, it's not even a mix-up. It's a conditioning where they, they try and give you just one option. But a person with forethought, with imagination, with ability to create something within their own head, to be able to be creative... You know what I mean? Our conscious being, a creator, like their father, God, is able to imagine. That's why they're taking art and all that kind of stuff out. So you can't imagine and or do shadow boxing, as they call it, where you really see all the possibilities ahead of time before you make that action. That's a male thing. That's the frontal lobe. That's why they're trying to destroy that and feminize everything. Because they're already feminine. They're already women. They want to enhance themselves at the cost of us. That's why so many men go on their own way right now. It's called MGTOW. Because women are, they're realizing what this goddamn monster is called women. I have never met a righteous woman in my entire fucking life, man. They are all crazy as shit in one way or another, bro. Um... <clears throat> Well, anyway, so let me get on with this. They're basically just taking everything from men. And it's, uh, uh. All right, so disparities in wealth. Perpetrators are usually the same community. I mean, look how many people have fucked up people over women, too. Like, let's just think about it. Like, wouldn't even believe. And then think about how many of these fucking, these so-called men that are really women go around fucking, what is it called, uh, you know, making things worse than they really are or sizing it up or um, instigating. Yeah, that's what it's called. Now you understand why it's like that, especially in the black community, why they're all gossipers, all that kind of shit. But then you got them kind of black dudes that are like, man, but they're not really black. Usually the brown ones that are like, man, I'm not down with all that shit, man. I'm not down with all that bullshit. All that pitch black darkness bullshit, bro. And I ain't down with y'all whiteies either. I'm somewhere in between. And I'm going to do my thing. But they cool with the cool white people, you know, or the cool Latin people or the cool dark people or whatever the fuck. But they ain't down with that bullshit. That's all I'm going to say about it. So, all right. Perpetrators usually the same community. Yeah, that's why they brought us into this community so we wouldn't be able to get nowhere. Um, but anyways, efforts by national and local governments to stop these killings have been largely ineffective and uh government policy that's because they're behind the damn thing they actually fund the whole goddamn thing but look at these countries africa 
Of course they put Africa first. When it's really probably not half as bad in Africa, like from what I can tell. Like I don't never, I ain't never heard. Like I've seen so many African videos, but I ain't never heard of them doing this shit that I see in these Latin countries, bro. Because guess what? Guess what? They're all fucking black. They're all black or brown. So what are they gonna do? Be like, oh, well, even though the black guys don't like the brown guys, but they like the women. And our women, as brown men, we already know from the garden, are bullshit. And in general, so you know we're fucked either way. That's why uh, we're going to die childless. I mean, if we're wise, at least. I, I don't plan on ever dating a woman again, like, to be honest. Like, if I meet one, I'm going to be so goddamn picky you wouldn't even believe me. That's why I don't believe I'm ever going to date another woman again. Because, like, I am extremely picky now. I mean, extremely picky now. Like, I mean, I've already been picky about looks, but it's going to be way worse than that now. And because, like, this situation got me like, nah, bro. Nah, bro. I mean... Uh, definitely I love the, the curviness and all that stuff, but I know what it really is now. It's a trap and it gets you caught up in the cycle of reincarnation on this planet, possibly of, um, on this fucking trap planet. I don't think this planet is really where we're supposed to be. I think this planet is a goddamn trap. I really fucking do. I think this place is a fucking trap and I don't even want nothing to do with it any goddamn more for real. Cause as far as I'm concerned, this place is either going to get destroyed by God, and then, yeah, I'll come back then. I'm sure he'll bring me back or something then. But until then, I don't want nothing to do with this goddamn forsaken place, bro. So, like, basically when they, like, you, they basically have you kind of, like, trapped after they get your kid. Because your kid is a clone of you. Like, it's the closest thing that you're ever going to get to a male clone. And um, so, like, yeah, like, they're basically got your DNA now. And, like, it's a part of the woman, it's a part of the world, like, in a way. And that's why people usually have betrayals out of their sons and daughters and that kind of stuff. And the woman will use them against them in court or whatever um, to take their money through child support or whatever. Like, this is literally how it works. They're the fucking negative side of the battery, and they're trying to take all of our goddamn our energy to that negative side. And as they have that negative interaction with the positive, they can vampire our energy. We become a battery. That's why um, men that actually have something to lose, these women, they always lash these women on them. So, but these are usually men that are willing sacrifices. They don't want someone that's going to um, not go along with it, you know. Um, they want someone that's going to be a willing, blind sacrifice that's just going to go get a job, which means it's a Hebrew word for persecuted, and they don't even care about that go out and just think about money all fucking day. And because of the way they've uh, st structured the financial system, you're going to basically have to kill to get that shit or sell out or, you know, like to get what this woman is going to want you. She's not going to want you. You already know this. She's not going to want you if you work at Walmart. I mean, some of these thirsty bitches maybe, but like most of these women are not going to want you if you work at Walmart. <laughs> that's if you can even get hired there and if you get hired there, you know you're more than likely probably you know not very active on social media for example like this has really gotten to the point where i'm looking at these gang stalking videos a lot of them are like for example in europe especially i know like they're actually so open in europe i want to move there for real except for the fucking uh refugee crisis they're so fucking, their police over there is so much better, bro. They talk to you in such a courteous manner. Oh, my God. I saw some of these gang stalking videos from England, and I was like, dog, you call that gang stalking? Nigga, you probably really said some stupid shit on your Facebook or wherever the fuck, and they just came to check on you, bro. They didn't do nothing to these niggas. They came like, hey, how you doing? You know, really nice. Like, like, oh, it's, it's, it's not gang stalking, nigga. Let me shit. Oh my god, I'm about to show you what gang stalking is in a second, bro. Like that ain't no goddamn gang stalk. Well, anyways, they're just draining people's man the man's energy, man. It's been like that since the goddamn garden, bro. Fucking they are the fucking matrix, bro. That's why it says when you open a woman's womb, you open the matrix. So no surprise, people are probably seeing Eve, the bitch that opened the whole fucking matrix for every goddamn body. If this story is true, basically the snake bitch. 
Right fucking there when they take the drug. Every fucking time. Every fucking time. You see her, the serpents in general, which are just clones or drones. It's like a fucking insect toy type of thing. I want to be surprised there are insects or something. That's why they got this hive mind, like they're all dead and on the same, like probably just one fucking thing because they're all clones of that one fucking thing. All of them are fucking Agent Smith just spreading. And he's like, now you're me. And then he goes into them and possesses them. It's like, you're dead now. You know, but, but Neo's like, nah, nigga, get out. You can't take this energy. And that's exactly how he destroys them with his energy. And what did I tell you about the, um, you got to check out my Matrix video, man. Like, it's all about diet and stuff. Like, there's actually these fucking demons that live in people, um, that can live in people, whatever. It's crazy, bro. Like, you, like these parasite things. Like, you got to check it out. Like, there's a video called, um, Stomach Demons Are Real. It's like a fucking, it looks like a xenomorph pushing out of a goddamn woman's belly. I ran into this guy that's from the, uh, the central, you know, uh, Latin America. Or um, South America, basically. I don't want to call it Latin America. Central and South America is not Latin. They call it, but those not what the original people were, okay? Uh, that's not their language. That guy calling us. But, um, and why do they call it colony? It's like an ant colony. They're putting it right in your damn face, man. These things are more than it seems, man. I'm pretty sure it's just some kind of weird shapeshifters, man. They take more than one form. Mm. But um, anyway, so so you got Africa, Latin America, Spain, colonial Latin America, and Brazil, and Colombia, especially in Colombia. Mm. God damn! See, it's death squads by paramilitary groups, national fucking police, perpetrators, beggars and recyclers, sex workers. Oh, it's talking about the people they're targeting. And then Guatemala, Tanzania. Now y'all see why the country is so fucked up. Because they really, it's all about money. And then when you um, you look at like the real um, meaning of America, some shit like that, if you like break it down, like Aladdin, it has to do with um, loving rich. And then in British or something like that, it has to do with um, the strength of the line or something like that. Or the, the the energy or the line or some shit like that. But guess what? The Latins, they, they love that money, buddy. Love They love Lucy. Lucy Fur. So, uh, and what is Lucifer? He's that serpent. He's a snake. He's fucking the devil. It's not any he. It's a she, man. Uh, that's why the Africans and all these other countries worship women so highly. Like... For example, um, in Africa, they think the woman is God. That's because of what happened with Cain and, uh, Cain and uh, Eve. She's fucking basically their God. Like, she she took them under her feather, like, and but for them, they wouldn't even have no people. Because she, she helped them reproduce, and, like, she was basically the rebellious one with them, and it's just crazy as fuck. But there's more to it. It's got to the serpent thing, and all that kind of shit, and then Wait, wait, so there you go. There's that. Um, now I'm going to play this real quick. Last, even though my internet is out, I already basically buffered all this shit. So I'm going to show you right here, right now, how they feel about you, bro. You know, who they appreciate more than others. Like when we got here, the oh, yeah, I just realized. I got to change this over. This is not my other player. I got to... Um, Change this over so that you can hear this audio. And that's why they purposely do this. So they know that that's the issue with us is that as humans, we can take in a lot of information, but it's hard for us to output it. And they made that even harder with these video recorders that don't. When just before all this phone and app bullshit started to happen, you used to be able to play more than one audio at once. It was not hard. You could play as many audios as you wanted. I used to play hundreds. Like a hundred fucking frequencies at once to just fuck with them and stuff like that. I could do that. Now they don't want you doing that for obvious reasons. They don't want you to do that because you're a targeted individual. And look at the melanin on this guy. You see what's going on here. I'm going to show you in a second. But um, 
basically they um they don't want you to be able to block out their noises while listening to a video i had it took me very hard time to find like this audio player i don't even care if they do something about it this audio player for example that allows me to play that audio while I'm say for example listening to this so like if i'm a targeted individual and you know they love to attack with noise all the time so you got to have some kind of white noise going on like you're not hearing the white noise i'm listening to right now because it's not recording what's inside of here but also because i'm actually listening to it on a different device just to cut down all that complication i have a whole nother device i listen to audio of right now and it's just really stupid that i have to do that when these devices, like this laptop, is way faster than the old computers used to be, the desktop computers. And then on top of that, they changed it so that, um, like, for example, like I said, if I'm listening to this, I need white noise to listen to this while I'm listening to it. So, like, when I'm listening, I don't get attacked. They're going to attack you. The moment you turn off that white, I turn off white noise, they will, if it's, like, in an opportune moment, they're going to just go nuts with the noise. Dogs will start barking. Cars will start revving their their rice their rice mobile, or diesel trucks are gonna start revving and idling, popping up out of thin air. Um, this is like their job. They sit around waiting, literally, for that opportunity because that's like their whole life. They're they're nothing but a facade. They're nothing but an illusion. That's how they can just pop up right like that. And then the Morgellons keeps them all connected, plus their uh, natural lizard hive mind and all that kind of shit. And so, like, that's what they do all fucking day. And, yeah, they're all in on it. 95% of the goddamn population, in my opinion, at least. Um, or 75% or some shit like that. Or maybe, you know, I don't think it's any less than 75%. But um, <clears throat> that's why this shit just continues on. Why they're all on the hate Trump train. When if they knew anything about what we've been showing in this research, that the media is the enemy... And whoever they're attacking, unless it's just obvious they're fucking bad, they're good. This guy hasn't gotten us into another war his whole time here. Obama got us into fucking shit. Got us into other countries. Bush got us into other countries. Trump, no countries. Instead, he bombs the goddamn CIA drug lags. Does all kinds of shit to help us. People don't give a fuck. Yeah, he's racist. Yeah, he's got issues. He saw 2.0 out of the Bible. I was supposed to be real leader. Y'all didn't give a fuck, though, so. Well, the majority of people didn't give a fuck, so. Because they're animals, so they got what, the, you know, they got their leader. I'm a leader of the people. I'm a leader of the real people, the priests of God. Um. Anyways, a lot more to that. Well, yeah, that's pretty much, uh, I'm going to leave that there, and I'm, um. Uh, but yeah, that's why the fuck with the technology, like I said. It's just ridiculous, man. Why else would they make it so you can't play more than one audio and they just force you to listen to this shit? Man, it's just stupid, man. They just want to attack us with the noises. Just couldn't even believe that. And that's why this one, like I said, doesn't record more than one thing at a time. So now it makes this more complicated. I can't just go right into the video or talk while the video is going. The other, the other recorder, this one, that, that made these videos, it was able to do that. And I bet everybody else, well, not this, th these um, these two recordings, not that one, this one and this one. Um, if anybody else used it, that was Screen-O-Matic. Screen-O-Matic allows you to record the audio from your mic and um, the system, which is how it's always been until they started playing this game with these apps and shit. Um, because also, if you do a search on your phone, on like anything like it, even when these tablets or whatever, anything that has that kind of operating system instead of Windows, um, you're not going to get the same search results. You're going to get a very filtered search result like you're in China. Now, I remember first noticing that um, I used to get so much more research done on my laptop, I mean on my, uh, on my desktop, and like there was a lot of stuff done to move me and all kinds of stuff, and... Ended up losing all that shit. Like, like it was it was intentional. They 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 fried my computer while I was gone. They did all kinds of shit and try and like hide everything. But I already knew that was gonna happen, so I already backed up a lot of stuff. And I can get it back once I uh, 
second round to it or whatever. I mean, a lot of shit, like, but it really doesn't matter at this point. I already know it, but, um, like, they really try hard. Like, they will, but anyways, like, the point was that the things you can see on there are way better, um, but that's what they do. Like, they're, they're trying to, like, it's all Chinese shit. Like, America's run by China now. All their fucking draconian shit they're doing is from China. China is the dragon, really, like. That's why they worship the dragon and all that kind of stuff. But, um, even fucking Bruce Lee was a fucking shapeshifter. If you look at the videos about him, like his eyes were reptilian. That's why he was chosen by them. He wasn't even that good of a martial artist. He was an actor. He was pretty good, though. His techniques were pretty good. And then, um, I'm pretty sure he died because he got too low fat or they killed him because he was empowering people. And he wasn't supposed to do that. Like I said, it can be a threat. They can, like, even though they're lizards, they can be a good lizard. Um, but anyway, so. <clears throat> Alright, so yeah, like, that's what they're up to. They're fucking, like, censoring all this shit. But like I said, these used, these had, um, these would work for anybody else. You could go online, and then on top of that, it would cause an echo. Any auto I played would have an echo. And then on top of that, that when I talked, it would only play my audio of my voice through the left side of the um, left speaker. And I was just like, fuck that. And then on top of that, when I made the second part, which is another 15 minutes, like this first part is, it's zero fucking bytes. How the fuck is that even possible, bro? I'm going to hold on to that shit just to fucking let them know what time it is. Well, not let them know, but expose that shit. The screen matic some bullshit. And it's choice about who it lets work with it, man. But um, I had to delete it, and now I have to do it this way. It's going to be harder, but, you know, at least I don't have fucking 15-minute limits and a fucking tramp stamp on my goddamn video. And look at this shit. It won't even close. The fuck? All right, so uh, I'm going to stop and do this next part.